Now presenting comedian Doug Stanhope. Hey, Doug, is this really you? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Doug Stanhope, everyone. <laughs> there How he is. Doug, what's up, man? What time is it? Are you in L.A.? No, no, I'm in uh, Bisbee, Arizona. It's uh, 5 in the morning. Okay, yeah, I was trying to figure out why you, you were doing all this early. What are you doing in Bisbee? Uh, that's where I live. You live in Arizona? Yeah, it's a little town down by the Mexican border. Doug, got, Doug has, has nigger qualities. He really wants to just drop off the earth. <laughs> <laughs> but he has to get famous enough for anybody to care. Doug is one of those guys like me who wants to quit, but he can't quit till he gets quit. quittable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got Patrice exactly O'Neill right. in studio, uh, Doug. You're one of those guys that just kind of moved to Arizona and... What, bought a house for, like, a mansion for 20 bucks? <laughs> yeah, basically, and it's right by the border, so when shit gets weird and FEMA starts putting people in camps for real, I can go the other way. And <laughs> he could leave and go jump, to Mexico. Jump the border south and... Oh. Jump the border south and you know high five the guys coming over for jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Rogan's told some pretty wild stories about you, man. <laughs> you guys have always been so cool to me. I keep getting emails out the ass. Go on O and A. They're always they're, they're big fans and blah blah blah. And I, I I'm never in New York, so 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 you said so, what the hell I'll call today? Well, no, I I I've been uh, like clean and sober for uh, like three weeks. I Get the fuck out of here, here, really? Is that just yeah, something on purpose? Uh, you're gonna pursue yeah, this just, or? Just to, just to see what it was like, and then uh, today I go, fuck this, and I ate a bunch of mushrooms, started <laughs> drinking wine, smoking cigarettes again, and yeah, so now I'm still up, I get a Xanax trying to knock me out, and I'm sitting on MySpace like a fucking faggot in the middle of the night, looking for friends. <laughs> Doug is just like us. God damn, yeah. He's a comedian that's just like you. Someone emails me and says, hey, if you're still awake, call Opie and Anthony. Here's their number. And I go, I'm not going to be awake in an hour. And here I am, chugging still down awake. the wine. Still awake. And I go, fuck, I'll call Opie and Anthony. So you're on the tail end of just being up all night. Yeah. 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 You must get yeah, some good right. mushrooms in Arizona, huh? The engines uh, know, know where to get them? Yeah, I, I get a good stash. Uh, I've just been picking at them little by little all day. I didn't go f f full tits out. What made you go on the wagon, though, in the f first place? Well, I, 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 I binge on the road yeah. you know, to the point where my fucking hands shake like Parkinson's disease. Like I, I actually well, think about faking Parkinson's so I don't have to admit I'm a reckless alcoholic. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. That would be a great gig, man. I, I, I saw. I never saw the actual video, but I saw the uh, clips on the infomercial with you on that Girls Gone Wild oh, video. You look like you're shame. completely tanked on that whole thing. How could you not be? That guy's <laughs> such a douchebag. It's so not fun. For, for all the fun it looks like it should be, that guy sucked every ounce of fun out of just, you know, The guy that runs it, right? What's, what's his yeah. name? Joe Francis, he's such a douchebag. He's such a egomaniacal. Yeah, I don't want to say date rapist because he would sue me for that. Cause that is defamation. <laughs> but I mean, he fits all the profile of it. He's just like, uh. he comes off like a real creep, like just yeah. a scary, creepy guy. He's the worst person I've ever met, and I've I've been with some wow. creepy fucking people in my life. What's it like? Like, like it comes off like the chicks are all into it, and uh, everything's like fine, like you said, like fun and everything. But isn't there a lot of like coercion going on with these girls? And well, with, with him, if he's there, there's a you know coercion of a different sense. He doesn't give a shit about the business. He's there for his own personal amusement. Just get which laid. Is, you know, just horribly degrading. Like everything you would think a, a, a porn magnet is, he's that guy. Yeah. Like just really seedy. But uh, I mean, the chicks that are all into it are the dumbest fucking chicks in the world. Yeah, so of that's course. That's not even amusing. You know, that, that, I'm 38 years old, so that whole giggly. I I can't believe I'm going to show you this. I don't want to. Oh my god, I don't. Like, I'm not trying to like talk you out of a hand job on calm night. Show right. you this and get off the bus. It is what it is. It, that's, the, that's the one thing you get older is that the anticipation of titties is in, in gone after you turn 30. It's just yeah. like, ah, come on, pull your tits out. You don't yeah. understand. Yeah, well, I mean, this coy shit nice. is dead. 
Tits, yeah, tits are always nice to look at, but I'm not going to fight for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't have no muscles no more. You don't have you don't have no muscles after you get 35. Like <laughs> you go to yeah, you no, go to pull yeah. a titty out. She's like, no. You be like, okay. Uh, All right, bitch. No means no in my patient. world now, bitch. Isn't it? <laughs> don't have the patience. Just give up the fight at that point. Here you go. Once I learn how to pull yeah. a titty out with the two fingers and they come out the front instead of dealing with the back, I don't play yeah. around no more. You <laughs> just fuck like, it. All right, sweetie. Thanks for this. Did hey. you fly on the guy's jet? Yeah, if I, well, I flew on his jet a couple times, but when I could get on the bus with the crew, because the crew was phenomenal, yeah. I go, I'm fucking, I'll, I'll ride with the crew and meet you there. You don't want to fly in the jet? No, I don't. Did the crew just badmouth the guy all the time? Everyone fucking hates <laughs> <that guy. laughs> like, uh, Isn't he getting sued for some shit? Some, uh, he's always some, uh, in, uh, always in some shit. Uh, uh, fucking court is his part-time job. He's got uh, He's gotten off on a lot of those um, underage things. He got off on one of those. And a lot of the ones where the girls said they didn't sign consent forms or, or shit like yeah, that. lawyer money. Once I don't you see anything about money, it. Yeah. And the guy is so fucking filthy rich. Is he really? Like, I don't know who's <laughs> buying those things. They just don't look like something you want to buy and pop in the... Uh, in the CD uh, you know player, who's buying them. I and I, it's just a guess, but it's all the you know people who the 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 Christian right in the middle of this country that you assume doesn't really exist in that many numbers. But once he got it on TV and made porn okay, like that's that was his his brilliance was making. Porn. It's the only even pseudo porn that they sell on television. Yeah, and it was pretty. Like it got pretty heavy duty. What what they show in the infomercials, one thing. But you know, there's yeah. pussy in there, right? Yeah, but that that way, the guys that you don't think still exist that have to lie to their wives about watching porno. Yeah. <laughs> They, they can justify that by going, it was on TV. <laughs> yeah, I, I bought this on TV, man. Yeah, you yeah, bought that fucking that exercise machine. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. why can't I buy something? Oh, that's great. Yeah, and that's why they have fucking Snoop Dogs or comics host the things, so then they can say, I just wanted for the comedy. I love Snoop Dogg. I'm a big rap <laughs> <Yeah>. fan. <laughs> hey, Doug, we got to ask you about that baiting thing you do. Oh yeah, we're, we're with the uh, pedophiles, we're, and I think you go after the uh, the abortion people too, right? Yeah, we got a book deal now. We're gonna put it into a book. Oh really? That's awesome. Yeah. Basically, okay. he goes online and baits, you know, pedophiles and stuff, and then then what? Then what? You just have the conversations on your website. It's basically a, like a prank phone call, only it's on instant messenger, where you bait the pedophiles into thinking you're a 13 year old girl, and then you just fuck with them. Because once you get a guy jacking off, yeah. then you can fuck with them as much as you want. And you know, so you, if you're fucking a girl, and then right in the middle she goes, "I think I have herpes," you're gonna keep fucking her. She's already started. <laughs> do you need a consent form to do that? Hmm. Uh, we. we uh, consent form to like, do what? like to like say you, some dudes, it. like you know to put some dude on the thing that's like you know talking to a thirteen year old girl and you're no, like, all you have is, to do is change no. the screen what? name and you're in. Oh, you just what? you don't even you just don't acknowledge it's him. Or something. No, being a, yeah, well, when, a beginner well, lawyer, I would assume book, that's we'll that's just, the only thing you need to, to do to save your ass. Go ahead, Doug. Yeah. Sorry. For for legal reasons, when we put it into a book, we'll have to change their screen name yeah, and yeah. own the domain or the the own the screen name. Now, why is that? Well, because it, 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 defamation is any time if you uh, accuse someone of doing something illegal, then you can get sued for defamation. I already went through this once. Can't you just I, put it down and say, this is how it went down, here's the screen name, this is, it's all fact, it, it happened. The, the point is, uh, like, I had a frivolous lawsuit. Some guy I said was a fucking crackhead on my website. Yeah. The way you'd say, yeah, you're a fucking crackhead, shut up. But because I said crackhead, that insinuates I, uh, he's doing something illegal where he sued me for whatever, a fucking quarter of a million dollars. And it got thrown out because it was frivolous, but it cost me 10 grand in legal fees uh. to get it thrown out. That's the, the whole justice system is so fucked like that. that Isn't crackhead yeah. like you could call someone crackhead in the same way you would a douchebag and he wouldn't say, I'm not a actual douchebag? <laughs> Uh, yeah, like, well, crackhead has become yeah, something yeah. you could just, you know, someone's acting like a fucking lunatic, you say, this guy's a fucking crackhead. I don't clean out women's yeah. vaginas. Uh, last time I was never um, there in a woman's pussy, uh, cleansing with some kind of vinegar and water. <laughs> so, it, but, but if he was in that pussy cleaning it out, that's not illegal. It's the letter of the law. If you insinuate he's done something illegal, like smoke crack, then you're open for defamation suits. This is a $10,000 lesson I learned. 
Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. So, so now I know to call them douchebags instead of crackheads. <laughs> Someone's calling me out that I said CD player instead of DVD player. <laughs> I caught that too. And he's <laughs> like, he capitalized it and said, I'm a fucking tool. Jan John Holmes, sure it's his real name, from Beverly Hills. Uh, banned. <laughs> uh, all right. Do they have to? Be? I can understand if I said I put it in my toaster and watched it on fucking. I can understand if I said something like that. I did so, CD play it. So you know, Doug, when uh, you know you get those uh, things uh, and and you put it in your transmission of your car and watch it, I can understand if I did something like that. I mixed up CD. Our fucking listeners are the most <laughs> nitpickiest. Fuck. John Holmes is a crackhead. And I don't mean that figuratively. <laughs> Literally, he was smoking crack this morning. <laughs> you cocksucker. <laughs> Hate our listeners. Uh, pests. Pestilence. Well, Doug, you should keep in touch with us if you're and, up this uh, early in the morning. Yeah, what are you working on? You got anything to plug? No, no, fuck no. No, huh? Just <laughs> hanging out in fucking life. Bisbee? Yeah, yeah. How'd you I pick Bisbee? Would you throw a year. fucking dart at a map? Would you, how'd you get Bisbee, Arizona? Who recommended you know Bisbee? We, I, I found it accidentally just driving back roads, but it's it's this weird little town, and there's nothing Sounds like it. Sounds weird. It's, 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 it's like this hippie enclave. Uh, it, it was a mining town where the mine went bust in the <laughs> 70s, and all the property value just went dirt cheap, That's so all fantastic. these artists and freaks just took over the town and it's the most beautiful town all built in the mountains it's not on the way to anything so no one finds it. it's not like sedona or something it shit. sounds like the type Every of fucking beverly hills jack off you know jumps in and makes it overpriced it's just weird uh it definitely sounds like the type of town that's on the graphic at the beginning of the x-files bisbee arizona you know it just <laughs> sounds like there's probably flying saucers there at night and shit uh, very well could be. Yeah. yeah, if he eats a few more of those mushrooms, he'll see the <laughs> yeah perfect place for <laughs> Doug, <laughs> man. All right, well, visit well, hey, uh, Doug's. Uh, what do you got? MySpace, right? I'm on the MySpace slash Doug Stanhope. Yeah, we see you on uh, everyone's friend list. You're very friendly. <laughs> <laughs> How many you got? How many friends? I don't know, like six thousand or six? something. Six. I just I'm no, I just broke seven. No Dane Cook. Dane Cook's got like how many? Eight hundred and seventy million. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> You've got more than the guy that's instantly your friend that owns MySpace at the beginning. Tunisia, you know, Indonesia, like million, all yeah. the tsunami places. <laughs> they love him. They fucking love him. How many does uh, Doug have? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, well, Dan, uh, Dane has six hundred sixty-seven thousand. Jesus, is that Christ. the most? Six hundred and sixty-seven thousand nah. friends. Rogan's got a lot too. I bet He's you Rogan's not beating grand. 16,000 Rogan's got? Oh, yeah. yeah. 640,000. 640,000. Friends. Friends. Yeah. Well, that's, those aren't as friends. Much as, you want, as much as you want to down it, it's, it, it's such a, a great form of marketing because like, since the whole FCC bullshit went down, yep. like, I'd go on the road. I'd do six or seven stations, and then the FCC thing went down, and now I'm down to like one or two in a market, and one of them's pre-taped so yeah. they can cut out all the meat and it's just it's fucked there's no way to get ahead if you're if you're a comic of any substance you, you know what dane can do now though he could put out a bulletin to six hundred and eighty thousand people that he's got a gig that he's got a the fucking cd, CD out that he's it's got be on snl it, it's unbelievable how yeah. many people you can get in touch with at one moment on this fucking myspace right well doug yeah, you got to no. keep in touch we'll we'll uh, promote your gigs Oh, cool. Thanks, man. If I ever get to that fucking horrible, horrible city, I'll come by and sit in. <laughs> you know something. And if we ever come to Bisbee. <laughs> you know something. We're, reach we're reaching a lot of people now with this satellite radio, so. Oh, I know. And I you know. can say whatever the like fuck you want. Out. Yeah, I just I just hate New York. I avoid it like the plague. I yeah. hate crowds. Why, do why don't you like New You got York? a little agoraphobia there, uh, Doug? Yeah, I'm like that. I, fucking New York City's like, the, it's like... Uh, Chris, last minute Christmas shopping, twenty four hours a day. I get all freaked out. My <laughs> earth is like, out. It's like that, yeah. Three hundred sixty five days a year. It's like oh. last minute Christmas shopping everywhere. Awful. <laughs> but right. I'll be back. God hates me, so he'll, uh, he'll send me back there. All right, Doug. We're gonna give you a special number so you can call any time, especially when you're up early. Right. Shoot it to my MySpace. <laughs> uh, hold on, the line. We're gonna just yeah, give hold it on a couple fast. seconds. Cool. Cool. Uh, hey.
Hey, that was pretty cool. Doug Stanhope, everyone. Yeah, Doug's a good guy, man. Hi, this is Doug Stanhope. You can find my shit at DougStanhope.com or MySpace slash Doug Stanhope or YouTube or all the other places. Please pirate my stuff and pass it around to your friends. It's the only way that I'll ever be heard of. Opie and Anthony. <laughs>